Hello, in this video I'm going to be walking you through the exact trig values you need to remember for your GCSE. Luckily, there's quite an easy way to remember it, which just involves knowing two triangles rather than memorising like, I don't know, nine or so values. So let's start off with the first triangle we're going to learn. So in an exam you could be asked to write down the value of, say, sine 45 without a calculator. It might be cos 45, it might also be tan 45, okay? And they'll expect you to know this without a calculator. And here's the triangle that I'm gonna to use to do it, okay? It's gonna be a triangle with two sides of length one, okay? So that's not very neat, there we go. So let's label it up, that's one, that's also one. Okay, so using Pythagoras, if you don't know how to use Pythagoras, I've got another video on that you can watch. This is gonna be root two. And because this is a right angle triangle, okay, these two values here are 45 degrees. So how does this help us? Well, we're gonna to need to know Sokotoa. Again, if you don't know that, I've got a video on sine, cos, and tan basics, so go check that out. But I'll write Sokotoa up here, so Sokotoa, like this, okay? So let's label up our triangle. If I'm interested in the angle 45 degrees, well, opposite 45, that's my opposite. This is my hypotenuse, so this is my adjacent. Now, because I'm looking at sine here, sine of my angle is opposite over hypotenuse from Sokotoa. So if I'm interested in sine 45, well, opposite that is one, and the hypotenuse is root two. So sine 45 is one over the square root of two. Now, if I'm interested in cos 45, remember cos of the angle is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So Adjacent is one, hypotenuse is root two. So I'm gonna get, again, cos 45, this time is one over root two. So it's the same as sine 45. Finally, tan 45, the last one. Tan is, well, tan of our angle is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. So the opposite side is equal to one and the adjacent side is equal to one. So cos 45 is equal to one divided by one, which gives us one. So that's how we can find out the values of sine, cos and tan 45, just by remembering this one triangle. Now the other triangle we're gonna do helps us remember the values of sine 30, sine 60, but also cos 30, cos 60, tan 30, and tan 60. But rather than work out every single one, I'm just gonna do these three to save time. So here's the triangle that we're gonna to need to remember for this, okay? And it's gonna look something like this, okay? Uh, that's not amazing it's going to be an equilateral triangle okay and each side is going to be length two like this and because it's equilateral that means that each angle is going to be 60 degrees so let's draw all these on okay so this is what you need to remember if you can do this you just need to change one little thing and then you're done so what I'm going to do is cut this triangle in half like that so let's cut this in half and now I can get rid of all this and because I've cut it in half this angle is going to be cut in half so this angle is now going to be 30 degrees and using the reverse of Pythagoras, well, this is now cut in half, so this length is now one, I can work out that this is now root three, okay, using like the reverse of Pythagoras. So how does this triangle help me? Well, say I wanna use sine or calculate sine 30. Again, let me write down Sokotoa. And I'm looking interested in sine, so I'm doing sine of my angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So let's label it up. I'm after sine 30. So this is the angle, so the opposite that, we have one, so that's my opposite. This is my hypotenuse, and that's my adjacent. So sine 30 is the opposite side, which is one, divided by the hypotenuse, which is two. So sine 30 is equal to one half. Now, if I was interested in sine 60, I'm gonna to have to relabel the triangle because I'm interested in this angle now. So opposite the 60 degree angle is my now opposite, which is root three. This is still my hypotenuse, and my adjacent is now that side. So again, the uh, sine rule says it's the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So sine 60 is equal to root three divided by two. And I'll show you one more example, um, and then you can just like work out the rest. But say I was interested in cos 30, okay? Well, let's write out what the rule for cos is. Well, cos x is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. And I'm interested in this angle here, so let's label it up. This is my opposite, this is my hypotenuse, this is my adjacent, and cos is the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, which is two. So let's write that out. Cos 30 is root three divided by two. Nice and easy. So these two triangles will help you get the majority of these. 
Okay, so there are now only five more that we need to remember. And these are, um, I'll write them down, sine zero, which is equal to zero, cos zero, which is equal to one, tan zero, which is equal to zero, sine 90, which is equal to one, and cos 90, which is equal to zero. Now, to remember these, you could just look at them and be like, okay, I need to remember these and just keep practicing them until you know them. Or the way I would probably do it is by drawing their graphs, if you know the trig graphs. So, I'll show you what I mean. So we know on the x-axis, that's our like angle, degrees, and our y-axis here. So let me start off with sine, okay? That's my sketch of a sine graph. I know it's not that great. So here's zero, this would be 90, 180, 270, and 360. So say I'm interested at sine at the point zero, well that's here, and my y value there is zero, so that's how we get that one. Cos 90, that's this point here, well that's where the graph is at the point one, its highest point. So I could work that one out, sine 90 is equal to one. Let's do the same now, but for the graph of tan. So let me rub this out, and I'll redo these because I probably won't be able to do it that neat. So cos graph looks something like that, where we've got zero, 90, 180, 270, and 360. So if I want cos at the point zero, that's here, where you can see the output is one, so that's how we could work that one out. And cos at the point 90 here, well that's zero, so cos 90 is zero. And you could do the same for the tan graph and work it out, or because it's just tan zero, you could just write tan zero is always zero. So hopefully that helps. Uh, go over to my channel, subscribe for more tutorials like this and past papers and just exam stuff, or go over to my TikTok for loads of exam questions. Thanks for watching.